Hey, Brandon here. Welcome to the channel and thanks for tuning in. Got another 2024 rookie report here for you on the channel. And we're going to talk about one of my podcast co-hosts, Jason DeRando's favorite players head to the NFL draft. And that is Taj Washington, wide receiver out of USC. Um, Taj Washington is going to be one of those smaller players headed to the NFL draft. But man, he's got some twitch to him. He's got some vertical ball skills. Jason and I, we're going to break it all down for you here on his rookie report. We're going to talk about his PFF grades, his stats for the season, and his five-year career. Um, we're going to also get into his draft capital and his scouting report. Where is he going to be drafted in your rookie drafts, right? So most likely a th late third, fourth round rookie pick, but we're going to break it all down for you. You play Dynasty, you play Fantasy, and you're looking for a YouTube channel out there that's going to not only break down the 2024 class, but get right into the 2025 class after the draft. Hit that subscribe button, man. Help us grow the channel. We are your ultimate destination to learn all about your future Dynasty assets out there. Thanks for watching. All right, Jason, let's talk about one of your favorite rookies on yeah. this rookie report. Um, so I'm going to let you really talk about the, this when we get to the scouting report, because I know you're excited to talk about this man. But uh, Taj Washington, wide receiver, senior, 5'10", 174-pound receiver coming out of USC. Plays a five-year player. He played two years at Memphis. And when he transferred to USC, I was really into Debbie. I was really starting to get into Debbie. I made a highlight film of his two years at Memphis. And I was like, man, for a guy this size, this freaking cat he can go up and get the ball he's got body control very impressive so three years at usc you know they've had these good receivers coming in coming out for the last two or three years but Taj washington had a great season you know he's going to play another slot player um you know but he's got some versatility to him he played outside quite a bit at usc um, but his career statistics, let's get right to it. Um, he's got 183 receptions, 2,800 yards, 18 TDs, 15.3 average played out of the slot, 44% out wide 56. That is for his five years. I know he played a lot more outside at Memphis. Um, I'd be curious to what that number is at USC, but overall for his career, those were the statistics, 65.8 reception percentage over those five years drops 12. Oh, uh, that represents 6.2% on PFF. All right, so his PFF grades, pretty solid across the board. His receiving grade, these are for 2023, by the way. Um, 85, uh, it was, uh, you know, looks like the 90th percentile. Contested catch, 66.7, high on the chart. Grade versus man coverage also at 80.4 on the higher end of the chart. So we got some good... Um, Good things. Yards after the catch per reception tied for 18th at 8.6. That's good. That's a good number right there. Deep yeah. catches tied for 15th, um, 13 catches, and deep yards sixth in college football, according to PFF, with 596. So I'm going to let you go to the scouting report and really get into it. But first, I just want to say how impressed I was with him going from Memphis to USC. Um, and you saw it on his USC film, especially this year, man. This guy is a vertical playmaker with body control, can high point the ball. Um, so I'll let you take it away because I know this is one of your guys, and I think you have him ranked pretty high. He's not in my top 15, but I think he's like really high in your ranks, isn't he? Yeah, uh, right now he's 11 or 12. Uh, okay. Once I move things around, I'll probably fall right in there. Uh, the hardest part with him is just trying to figure out how an NFL team is going to view him because he's yeah. dynamic on special teams as well. So I'm right. wondering if they're going to put him there first. But when we get to the scouting report, again, I'm just going to start right off the snap. You see the acceleration. Uh, he's got really nice uh, arsenal re uh, release moves. He's got the single move. He's got a double move. He's got a speed release. He uses foot fire. He uses very good manipulation at the line of scrimmage. Uh, even in space, that he executes a really good uh, space release single move. That is just so crisp. I put that uh, video on X last night as I was just watching a little bit more film of Caleb Williams. And once again, Taj Washington just kept standing out so he's a very twitchy athlete i'm not sure like i think he's got that deep speed i think he's more of like a mid four four guy maybe low four four mm -hmm. something like that definitely not the four threes that we've been seeing i wouldn't think that he's that fast uh but for his size 510 174 i also like the physicality he fights through contact uh within his route stem at the top of his route he uses a swimmer swipe if he has to as far as using physicality uh but more so you see the manipulation within the separation with the head gestures, the hip thrusts, uh, and just quick twitch athleticism with the lateral agility to break in or out. 
Uh, the physical nature of him at the contested catch point, I think he can go up and get it. Like you said, he's got great hands. He's not scared of taking a hit in the back. If he knows the defender's in a pursuit behind him, he'll still catch the ball and he'll put his body in a position to get hit and he'll still hold on to the ball. So that's that's great to see, especially from you know a younger, thinner receiver. He plays with very good tenacity and pr- pretty good uh, physicality at the same time too. Um, I, again, I like the manipulation. He always knows where to go. His field vision is phenomenal. Mm-hmm. Uh, even if the route breaks down, he will do a combo route. He'll keep extending, rounding out the route, get himself open because he knows that Caleb Williams is probably extending the play with his legs, and he is making sure that he's available and on time at the catch point, even when the route is finished, he still continues it. That's pretty advanced to me. So I really, really like what Taj Washington can bring to the table. I think he could be a dynamic weapon for an offense that is looking for a vertical threat or a dynamic slot receiver. Uh, You were asking at Memphis, he actually played around 85% of the time on the outside. His Mm -hmm. uh, years at Memphis, his first year at USC, he played on the outside. And then the last two years at USC, they put him in the slot. So he's versatile. He could play in the slot or he can play outside and he's a dynamic weapon on special teams. And we have seen that when players start off on special teams, it offers them the ability to kind of get into a starting role because they're getting on the field early. They're Mm -hmm. getting to the offense and it's a better understanding. So for me, it really comes down to where he lands and I think opportunity because he could be one of those guys. If he gets opportunities as a starter, he'll excel. I think he'll do pretty well. But if he doesn't have opportunity, he's one of those guys that could also get buried on depth chart. So really where he lands, I think, is going to be key. Yeah, and I, I'm really – it's. I'm looking at my show notes here and my scouting report. I said he always made himself available. Um, yeah. And you're absolutely right. Caleb Williams running around, extending plays. He was always, you know, had his head in the game, always looking, seeing where he could get himself open. And like you said, his second level field vision, I thought was fantastic. This guy with the ball in his mm-hmm. hands, I thought he was a, a, a very good yak player too. Like he is explosive. Yeah. When he yeah. Gets I'm the glad ball. you brought but, that up. You know, that. But I'll tell you, the vertical prowess of him was unbelievable. And that Memphis film, I think it's on the YouTube channel too. Um, his boundary just, you know, he looked like a six foot three wide receiver going up for some of these balls. And mm-hmm. I was, I was duly really impressed. So, but like you said, the physicality, the, you know, um, you know, landing spot will be a lot for him, but he, he does play uh strong for his size. I, I got to give you that. He's got some, uh, he's got a small frame and, but, um, he, he's a tough player and he took some wicked hits in that film for this year on USC and, and got, got up a lot. So he's a tough, tough little player. So, um, all right, let's talk about his draft capital. Probably fifth to seventh round. He's probably like a late day three guy, you think? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Knowing that he's very much involved in special teams, I think he's going to be valued more so with that. And that's usually that fifth to seventh range. Okay. So, uh, you know, we've been doing some rookie mocks on here, like we've talked about. Um, you know, he has not been in the first three rounds, so he's going to be most likely a fourth and fifth round uh, player. Uh, and again, if he yeah. doesn't get the draft capital, it could be probably end of the fifth and might be, a you know, a UDFA, you know, at least in a rookie draft if he doesn't get that right. day three draft capital. So um, it's going to be a guy that's later that, you know, if you really like Taj Washington and he gets that great spot, where they're, you know, like let's say the Chargers, if you know, because right now their wide receiver room is is kind of bare. You just never know um, if somebody's looking for, you know, just a vertical, you know, playmaker, um, exciting player. So my comp for him, um, I got Josh Downs. I kind of, you know, Josh Downs coming out of UNC had that yeah. vertical prowess, um, you know, same kind of size. You know, I thought they were both physical enough to play the game and, and to stay on a field. Um, Josh Downs is going to be a wide receiver three, most likely on a team. And if Taj Washington makes it off the special teams and contributes um, on an NFL roster, I mean, I think he's going to be a, you know, a wide receiver three at best, Um, but uh, you know, but Josh Downs, you know, he was my comp. Man, you were taking your comps to a whole new tier in this episode. I love that comp. (laughs) That's really good. Um, I put down Marquise Brown. I saw very, very uh, similar skill sets from when Marquise Brown was coming out of Oklahoma. You know, he was that explosive, quick twitch athlete with that deep threat ability, played a little bit bigger than his actual frame, very tenacious, competitive at the catch point. See, I see that with Taj Washington all day long. So I think the upside could be at the highest point, Marquise Brown. 
Okay, yeah, and he's been tra- he's been the traveling man in the NFL, Mr. Brown. Yes, so, yes. Um, now he's in a great position with Pat Mahomes. So we'll he see what sure happens. is. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. All right, there you guys go. There is our rookie report on Mr. Taj Washington.